Hello, it's Nick, British Legion, and yes, I've got my Empire of the Dead rule book, which is fantastic. The artwork's absolutely brilliant. Um, as I say, I mean, Empire of the Dead just ticks my box, all my boxes. It's London, it's set in Victorian times. Well, it can, it can be any, any European country or whatever, but uh, I mean, London's perfect for me. Uh, it's Jack the Ripper, Doc, you know, Sherlock Holmes and Doc, Dr. Watson and the Invisible Man, um, vampires, werewolves, zombies. It's everything. It's just oozing with characters. Uh, I know it came out a couple of years ago, and I, I don't know why I didn't get into it then. I, I would love to have done the Kickstarter and get some of the limited edition figures. One I managed to get hold of today, but that's another story. Um, it's just perfect. And what I like about it a lot is the RPG element in it, uh, where you start your faction, you play a game, your faction can get stronger. If you win the game, you, you get shillings. That's the currency, shillings. And if you win a game, you get so many shillings to, to make improve your faction, buy extra characters, buy extra weaponry, buy, buy magical spells, whatever. Um, it's brilliant. So you could do a really decent campaign, which I'm going to look forward to doing with the boys, or Matthew anyway, probably. So at the moment, I'm buying certain factions, trying to get most of them, to be honest, and um, paint them up. And then I'll be looking at making possibly some scenery and playing the game. So, you know, starting from scratch as as a Empire of the Dead novice, I'll, I'll be getting into it. And the rules look really easy. Uh, I've been watching uh, Squeezy Bridges' um, videos on his bat reps, and um, him and his wife have been painting up the miniatures. Fantastic. Go and check them out. I'll put a link into the video. Anyway, so that's enough of my waffle. I'm painting Jack the Ripper today, so I'll show you uh, how I get on. Thanks. Right, here he is. This is the sinister Jack himself with his uh, razor blade and his cleaver, with his large knife. So, as you can see, this is my usual tactic at the start. I'll it's all based and base coated and highlighted, ready to start painting. So let's see if I. I've, it's uh, coming up to 20 to 1 this afternoon, Saturday. So I was a bit busy this morning, so I didn't get much done. So uh, let's see if I can get him done this afternoon. Right, he's, uh, he's all done. It's uh, quarter to four. And I've uh, done some little bit of water effect for the drain, a bit of green wash, and then put a varnish over the top. Going down the gutter. Yeah, he's not too bad. Not a lot to do on him, really. He's nice and nice and shiny. And uh, he's, off to, he's off to get evicted, old Jack. Jack the Knife. Well, it's not Jack the Knife, but Jack the Ripper. So yeah, it's all done. Looking forward to it. That's the last of my minis now, so I've got to wait to get some more. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next one.